Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just want to clear up before I start filming. This is leftover fake tan that I literally can't get off. At the end of the video, I'm also going to talk a little bit about what's happening in the world at the moment with Black Lives Matter and my thoughts and I don't want to start now because if I start now I won't stop because it really frustrates me and it is frustrating me and so at the end I'm just going to give um, my thoughts. I know I've already done a video on um, Black Lives Matter. I will link that down below. Without further ado, I am going to do a following celebrities makeup tutorials from Vogue. So I just want to clear up that I've already like washed my face. All I've got to do is moisturise and I just do that anyway. So I'm not going to follow the steps. I'm just going to follow the makeup steps of it. I think we're going to start out with good old Rihanna. So she starts straight with foundation. Didn't hear her put a primer on. So we're just going to go straight in with the foundation. And she uses, of course, her own foundation and her beauty blender. So I'm going to go and wet mine and down with foundation i guess <laughs> so <laughs> i've never actually done youtube before like a video and not actually recorded basically all i've done <laughs> is just put foundation on like my usual self yes i look like a clown because i have a lot of blending to do so i'm just gonna get a blend in and then i'll be right back so, foundation is done i'm blended down to my friggin <laughs> toes practically we're gonna go on to concealer for this we are using courtney kardashian because she just is a gem. And I have been using the Sun Eye Concealer forever. It's Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. And I'm scared to check the score because I just really- So she literally only puts a little bit underneath. Um, I don't have the same concealer as her. I just have Pro Conceal. <laughs> I'm just gonna obviously pat mine out with the same beauty blender. <laughs> that I did my foundation with. So we are going to go on to a bronzer and for this we are using Ashley Graham. If you don't know, get to know because she's a fucking gem. Doing it for the plus size women. Of course, I'm not going to have any of these products because I'm not a millionaire. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I don't actually have any of these products. So we're just going to use the same old stuff that I use in every video. She just puts it everywhere on her face. Like this. Do a little bronzer. Bronzer. <laughs> so I just realized she's doing an eagle look. So we're gonna do an eagle look. <laughs> I say something like I said eagle. We're gonna do an eagle kind of look. I honestly don't know how this is gonna look, but I need to do blush and I've just realised what she's doing with the blush so I'm quite excited. Next I do my blush and I just swirl it around. Okay, I get a lot down there too, so like a lot, tap it off and just work on the edges and I bring my blush up because I like a high cheekbone. I always make sure it's higher than lower my nose and I scrub it, I scrub my nose pretty much. <laughs> I just look like I've been rubbing my nose all day. So guys is eyeshadow. So we're gonna go to Kylie for this. Right guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera cause they're just not going well. And I'm just gonna really focus on them. So I'll be right back. <laughs> That's the best I can get my eyebrows. So she just carves under the brow and then drags it down and then blends it out with a beauty blender. So that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> with a beauty blender so she uses a face powder so i'm just going to use my revolution so thank god kylie is using a gold color obviously just going to take on camera in the palette she applied it with her finger just to like the lid area <laughs> So she puts like an orange shade in her tear duct. I'm going to use the M506 brush. I'm just going to take this colour here because it's the closest colour to what she's actually using. And I'm also going to dip in a little bit to this orange. We're going to go on to the next. 
I start with Jessica Alba. Remember that icon in my eye? Like, oh, I just loved her in the film, honey. I'm gonna do my usual mascara. Just she always blinks in the wand, and that's just such a good tip. Like, she always goes. <laughs> So guys, my mascara is on and I've never, ever liked my eyelashes this much. Um, <laughs> she does them where she blinks, like when you're doing your top and it just changes your life. So that was amazing. And now we're gonna go on to the final step. Well, one of the final steps, which is lipstick. We're gonna use the beautiful Sophia Ritchie. Last but not least, lips. So, today's lip liner, I'm going to be using the KKW Lip Nude 2. This is the closest one I have. It's by MUA and it's in the colour, I don't know. That's not a colour by the way. Then after that she just dabs it. Now for the lipstick. I'm going to use... NYX, which is my favorite cream lip matte situation. And this is in color 04. So the closest one I have is a Revolution one. It's in the color Stripped. It's a little bit darker than his, but it'll do. I think she has another step. <laughs> On top of that, the Pat McGrath. So we're just using this Tesco FNF Creme Brulee lip gloss on top which is very similar so for the final step we're just gonna spray some revolution sport fix on my face so guys this is the finished look i'm not used to so much product on my lips um what is this piece of hair doing growing a fringe that is so hard i really really enjoyed filming that for you guys i love the eyes the mascara hack oh um, see, I've learned things throughout this video myself, so I'm really happy that I did this. I'm gonna give you some James Charles inspired close ups. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I really, really, truly enjoyed filming it. Um, if you did, smash it a huge thumbs up. But before I go, I just want to quickly, I mean I say quick, it'll probably end up being half an hour, but I just want to mention some things that are going on in the world that is very, very, very serious and truly, truly breaks my heart. If you're a human and you have a kind heart, then I will treat you with respect and I will treat you like a human being. I will treat people the way I want to be treated. I will treat people with respect. I will treat people with kindness. It doesn't matter what color of skin you'll have or what sexuality you are or it, it to me it doesn't none of that matters if you have a kind heart then you're human to me so that's how i've been brought up and that's how i am and the person i ha am but when you grow up and you watch the news and you realize we don't live in a world where everyone is accepted and everyone is equal even though that's exactly what schools teach you and your parents teach you and the way that you expect life to be so when you grow up and meet people and you know you expect everyone to have the same mindset as you it's just going outside your front door and whether that person is black white gay transgender disabled um they're just a they're just a human and that's how i want to grow up and that's how i have grown up but again when you watch the news and you figure and you find out all these horrible horrific events have been happening because of someone's skin color it makes you question education it makes you question the law it makes you question the government it makes you question humanity it makes you question all these things where you're like well i have been in school i have been taught the equality act of 2010 and if you watch my last video i talk way more in depth about that 
It's actually the law to teach the Equality Act of 2010. You learn about disabled, the gay, the transgenders, race, religion, civil partnership, pregnancy. You learn about all these different things. And to grow up and hear about these horrific events that have been happening because of someone's skin colour. It really, 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 really upsets me. It really angers me. It, It's like... Are we living a lie? Are teachers being told to teach us these things because it's like another thing to be taught? But why put that in place if then when I'm going to grow up, I am looking at my government and they're not even abiding by the law? The government are the people that make the law, right? I am growing up into a society where I switch on my TV, I learn about all these NHS workers dying because they weren't given PPE, but then I also learn that the managers at these hospitals were actually pushing the people with a Muslim background, an Indian, a Pakistani, a black person, with all these different ethnic backgrounds to the front line and near the people who die. Now, if that's not racism, please tell me what is, because again, I grew up to not care what you look like, to not care what you are, but only to care what your heart is. It's really hard to like get my words out when I'm just speaking from the heart because I'm jumbling them all up and I want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. But at the same time, I just want to say what is on my heart. It really, 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 really baffles me and think, and I, I honestly think, what kind of human deserves to be on this earth, breathing the same air as people like me and you? What kind of society are we going into? What kind of society are we going to teach our kids? If our government, I, I live in the UK, now I don't have so much of a problem with the police force here than in America, but we're all on earth, we, all, we are on the same planet, we all breathe the same air, so I don't understand why people are so concerned with people protesting in the UK or in Australia or in any other country except the US about what happened to George Floyd, about what happened to every single fucking black person who has been killed because of their colour of the skin. I'm 22 years old and I know that whether that happens in the UK, Australia, India, Africa or America or any other country in the world, we are going to stand up for that person who has been murdered. It's not whether it is happening in fucking India. It's not hap whether it's happening in the US or in the UK. If you wanna stand up for someone's rights who have been murdered, then you should honestly have the freedom to do that and don't let anyone tell you otherwise because I've been seeing a lot of comments whether you should actually be protesting because it's not happening here. It doesn't matter. It's happening in the world and the fucking air we breathe. So if you want to go on protest, you fucking go on protest. Social distancing. Yes, we are living in a very, very, very old world at the moment where you even question going outside your own house because you feel like people are going to judge you if you walk too close to them. I understand it. So I'm just going to read this off my laptop because I just... I watched a video earlier of a man in America, an, an, elderly, an elderly man, late 60s, and he was walking up to the cops and now the cops have all got shields. I said, I find it absolutely disgusting at some of the horrible acts that I've seen recently in the news, mainly in the US. An elderly man getting arrested by a bunch of police officers. Black people being arrested for peacefully protesting. This is not humane, this is pure evil. Every single person on this entire earth is taught from a very young age to have respect, be kind and treat others the way you want to be treated. Well, over the last few weeks, I have not seen many cops do that. I've not seen many cops be kind and have respect. I've seen cops kill people because of the colour of their skin. I say that you may have had to train hard to get to the position you are in. Because when do you have the fucking right to attack people because of the colour of their skin? or the age. Since when? I don't understand. I'm not religious. So to anyone who believes in God and is racist, this is what I say to you. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male or female. For you all are in Jesus Christ. In other words, we are all one. We're all human. I do not fucking get how you are in a job where you believe that killing an innocent man 
innocent, so he, he didn't even need to get arrested in the first place. But then to also kill him because you do not like the look of his skin colour. If you could speak to God in person, this man that you look up to, to create this earth and create the humans we are friends with and to create the air we breathe, then really think about what acts you are doing. Really think about, I am killing someone because the color of their skin. I read a quote, it was by Nelson Mandela. This is what Nelson Mandela said. No one is born hating another person's colour of their skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes naturally to the human heart than its opposite. So in other words, if you can learn to be as hateful as some people that I see killing people for the colour of their skin or if they're gay or transgender or have a disability or if they're a woman or if they're a man if they can because you're not you're not born you're not born with a heart like that you're born with a pure heart you're born pure then I say that you can learn to love and you can learn to love everyone for, for who they are and you know for for just being a human. They're just a human fucking being. They are fucking, they have a heart, just like you have a heart. So what makes you think that they're not welcome on this planet? What makes you think? Because you have the power to be an officer. I believe that there needs to be a change. It needs to change and then stay, you know? It doesn't need to just be like, Oh, we've changed it now. Racism will never ha racism will never happen again. Another black person won't get killed. How many black people? How many fucking black kids have been killed by cops? How many black people in general have been killed by cops for no reason? You need that to change. And before you start saying every fucking life matters, mate, how can you say every life matters when black people are a fucking life? They have a heart, which means they have a life. They are living. Oh, I'm gonna leave it there before I actually start really getting upset and angry. Um, you might have saw a different side to me today just because I get really frustrated at life and governments and people and it makes me not want to even breathe the same air with these people anymore. But I'm going to leave it on another really, really powerful quote by Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And education is something we've all done and we've all got the privilege to do. So yes, I do agree with education is powerful and it does need to be in more um, educational systems like schools, colleges, uni. It, just, it needs to carry on into later life. It needs to be taught in workplaces. It needs to be basically carried out for the rest of your life to treat everybody how you want to be treated. I'm going to end the video there. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching. So... Links will be down in the description box for George Floyd justice and a donation page to get everyone out that's been arrested for peacefully protesting. It goes towards their bail money, so I'm just going to link all the links down in the description box, as many as I can find. Honestly, please um, sign petitions because, I mean, not everyone's going to want to protest because of the lockdown. So if you can't get out and you can't protest like me, sign petitions and do your little bit because every little... Every person who signs a petition, it helps. It really does. It, just, it doesn't just go to waste. It actually does help. Keep signing petitions. Stay safe. Treat everyone with kindness, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.